Welcome everyone to another episode of the Offshot Project. We are currently in La Paz, Baja California, Mexico. But first, let me tell you a quick rundown on how we got here. So, after surfing in Hawaii, which if you haven't seen the video, I recommend you watching it straight after this. We took a plane straight to Phoenix and from Phoenix, we were supposed to go straight to Mexico. But the first two flights to Cabo San Lucas had engine malfunctions and unfortunately we ended up being in a small plane accident on the runway. Fortunately, the third flight was the lucky one and we ended up landing in Cabo San Lucas uh, pretty late at night on Saturday. And we have spent the last couple of days in Mexico acclimatizing to this incredible new culture. Now the cool thing is that Sol's cousin actually lives here in La Paz and her and her husband have invited us to go spearfishing, which is going to be amazing because I've never done it before, let alone done any kind of activity like that where the main language is Spanish. So let's see if anything ends up being successful. We're a bit in a rush and we lost the sunscreen. Just pack on the essentials. Safety first. But we're in Mexico, so. Safety second. <laughs> I've been trying to learn from Sol's cousin of uh, how to drive like a local. So if the speed limit is like 60, it's supposed to go about 100. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. It's too scary. <laughs> One of the things that I've found rather interesting about being in Mexico so far is that you literally could just, well, you shouldn't obviously, but drinking and driving isn't frowned upon. I don't know about you, Sol, but this has been rather... It's really weird. Like, it's really... It's really strange because we've been so conditioned, of course, of not drinking and driving at the, driving at the same time that when they do it here, you're like, oh, oh my god, god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, the relationship to beer is here. I feel it's really different. And because their beer is so light, it's like 3.5% or something, it doesn't have the same effect as well. I'm yeah. not saying that we should do it. <laughs> But that's the culture here. How does that not the F for favor? Very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. That was the craziest experience. I couldn't see the dolphins because of our goggles, but the noise, the sound, oh my god, it was just amazing. Um, okay, we just got back on the boat and now there's like sea lions right in front of us. It's just yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't have any words. I think my vocabulary is not big enough to describe this feeling right now. 
It's just the greatest thing. So, from what I understand, before spearfishing, we are just experiencing sea life in La Paz, in the Cortes Sea, if I'm not mistaken. sea lions that's the first time I've ever done something like that that was phenomenal after the dolphins I'm singing it's amazing but now we're doing what we actually came for which is spear fishing and honestly I'm a tad nervous so I don't know what to expect rules when you spear fish many rules for example never fish uh, alone never put the, the to the other yeah, okay. yeah. in everything because if you say oh no it's, it's too small oh no it's not that if you <laughs> see something that you can eat you okay okay It has been an incredible day so far. But when it comes to the spearfishing side of things, I realized the second I, when I got in the water, I don't know what fish to catch. I don't know how to use the gun. I don't know how to spearfish. And everyone just, you know, did their own thing immediately. And all of a sudden I'm just sort of like, just snorkeling. It was fine. But I can't dive as far as some of these guys can. They're going down like 10, 15 meters on one breath, which is an incredible feat in itself. I marvel it, I think it's amazing. Um, but Milton's on uh, about what, three fish? And we're gonna have a wonderful meal at the beach. We're gonna have an incredibly fresh meal on the beach. Oh man, this day is just awesome. As you can see, we are the next day having breakfast at lunchtime. But after the spear fishing, we actually went to a place called Belandra to have uh, ceviche. And before we even had that, we actually went clam fishing as well, mm. which was an exceptional experience. Yeah, like everything was fresh. So the ceviche was made from the freshly caught fish, from the spear fishing, the clams. We actually learned how to find them under the sand, it was just amazing. Yeah, it was brilliant. Honestly, the whole day was amazing. And taking a step back from mm. the focus of the spear fishing, I found that, well, we found that the biodiversity of this place is incredible. Going, literally just going to the place where we were going to go spear fishing, we ended up stopping the dolphins, which I nearly cried for, the sea lions, which was amazing. And then we ended up snorkeling with fish that were an amazing array of colours. Yeah, and we heard a whale as well. Yeah, and then we saw the whale as well at the end. Mm. Like, oh my days, it was just, it was incredible. Honestly, the whole day was exceptional and 
it wouldn't have been um, that amazing if it wasn't for uh, uh, Sol's, co Sol's cousin's husband, who ended up literally running the whole show, taking us to all these mm. places and making an incredible meal and then taking us back and then falling asleep on the beach. Yeah, so just thank you so much to Milton and Alexia, of course, for this incredible day. We're gonna continue our breakfast, we're gonna continue our day and we're gonna plan our next adventure because we're not quite sure what we're doing next, which is the best way to travel. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and we're gonna see you in the next adventure. Salut. I think it was alright. Yeah, I think it was alright.